What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over another fishing adventure or two. Right now, I am releasing a little turtle that we found into his new home. Little buddy right there, gonna, gonna have a new little home to put his little, little waddler. He's excited, he can't wait to be released. But anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing today. That's what brings me out here at this little lake. What have I been doing lately? I have been doing a good amount of fishing, just not a whole lot of catching. Uh, sometime last week, the weather was good. I had a good amount of time, so I went and got some baits and threw them out on the surf and make contact with a cobia or something. But <laughs> play those clips real quick. I'll let you see how that went. Okay, so we have 12 footer right here with the silver salt is 30. And then we have the 13 footer, the breakaway HDX. Uh, another salt is 30 or BG 30. And these are the baits that we're using right now. Very common bait. He is alive. He's just, he's just, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him to wake up a little bit for the show here. All right. Sorry, buddy. Could you, all right. Well, anyway, that's the eel from the shore and from like, say a pier. I always hook them very close into the tail. If the further you hook them up in the body, the more likely they are to tangle in your line and create a whole bunch of a mess. Positives with eel is they last a long time. Sometimes when you get to their fishing destination, bait's not always very easy to come by. So going ahead and being able to throw one of these guys out there puts you a bait in the water right away. They do work dead or alive, but obviously <laughs> most of mine have always been on live ones. They're very hard to kill. They, they, uh, you know, every now and then you'll find that a fish has been chomping on them or a crab's been like eating away at his throat, but they will stay alive for a long time. Typically with uh, the fish finder rig that I use, I use a little bit longer leader. Um, just because the shorter leaders, when you cast them, they're sitting down there, the shorter leaders, they will swim around your rig more and cause, more, again, more foul ups. But no, I mean, great baits. Usually, like all tackle stores sell these, usually at $2 or so a piece. The only thing that's real negative about them is that they are just very difficult to cast but that's not going to be too much of an issue today because right around here not even too far out pretty much on the first sandbar we have a lot of crab traps so throwing it out there a mile is not all that necessary so let's go ahead and get these baits out there and just start trying to see if we can't find a fish Not too bad of a cast considering I haven't thrown with these, haven't thrown one of these since I was fishing the Outer Banks. But yeah, there's no need to bomb it out. I mean, I'd rather bomb it out there, but I'd, I'd rather just have a bait in the water and try to avoid those crab traps. Somebody's already caught this dude on this bottom rig right here. This is not mine, so we'll take this out of him and we'll send him on his way. Yeah, look at this. That's not mine. I think I actually don't think I hooked him. I think I just hooked this rig. Cause look, I brought this rig in on my weight and my hook's not even in his mouth. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's not even, that's not even a part of him. We're all clear over here. He's got something else going on. There's the hook. Yeah, I didn't even hook him. I just pulled him in by this line that was attached to him. And he's all, he's all good to go now. Yeah, meh, nah. A ray. I mean, it is what it is. It's very, I, I don't know how I caught him like that. It brings us to the main part of this video, which is boat fishing out in Chesapeake Bay, primarily around the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Now, I'm not really a morning person, but I got up. I was ready to go. It must have been like 4.10 in the morning once I started actually heading out. So we got down to Virginia Beach area and we stopped to see my friend Anthony over at Oceans East. Always knows what's in the water. He always knows what they're biting on. Shout out to him and Oceans East for squaring us away with all the tackle and all the bait. Give him a follow on Instagram. <laughs> he seriously catches it all, but give him a follow. Thanks again, man. After that, it was time. We went and hit the water with this thing they call a boat. Y'all see me on the surf. Y'all see me on the pier, even a kayak. But boat stuff is fairly new to me. So let's go ahead and get into that. using for the flounder it's just a tandem rig i got one and a half ounces and then just a little teaser up top just bouncing it off the bottom fishing to drift along the rocks here at the chesapeake bay bridge hopefully we'll be able to pull out a monster with this get something for the plate bounce 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 b
Hell yeah. All right, he's not going anywhere, yeah. Just keep tight with him, yep. Nice. <laughs> That's one for the... Hell yeah! The first fish of the day. Very nice. Oh shit, look for him. Yes sir. Is that a keeper? That's a keeper. Hell yeah, first fish of the day for me. Mr. Flounder. Lucky buddy, you're 16 inches. You need to be 16 and a half. That's a that's a netter. That is a netter. It's got to be a netter. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, thank you, Chuck, for the assist. He took down the whole the whole thing completely. I hailed that. Dude. Thanks, man. Look at that. Thank you, sir. He's 18 and a half, maybe. Maybe 19 yeah. if we pinch it, but that's got to be the PV flounder for me. I got you. So we've just been drifting the current along the side of these rocks and just bouncing the jigs off the bottom. And we're not doing anything too advanced here, but we have lost a couple jigs. So Ready? we might be making a move sometime soon. I've had enough of the flounder. Now it's time to go chase the reds and the cobia or whatever. Send it. <laughs> Send that shit. And we lost the hat, but we got it back. <laughs> Thank you. It's a tall. He dug me in. I'll get him out. That's definitely a fish. Oh shit! He's pulling. Oh my god! You see him? I only got 20 pound uh, leader on there. Oh, what the? What's that? <laughs> Here we go. We got another one. <laughs> the orange uh, tall talk. It's a rare one. It's a rare of the species. Yeah. Nice. That's a fat nice. one. That is a fat ass talk. This is not what we were after today, but sometimes fishing does not go as planned, and then you have to go for tall talk. All grow out of season, so we're letting them all go today. Big fatty. These togs, we're using the uh, Chong Che jigs. Shout out to Chong for hooking me up with uh, some of his custom jigs. So we were heading home, done. The sun has whooped our asses, and we came upon this beautiful pylon here. And we said, hey, let's drop a crab down there. About an hour and a half later, we're still here. Catching tog. Everybody still has the same amount of energy as they did at the beginning of the day, right? Yes, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, we didn't find any drum. We didn't find any cobia. We did spend some time looking for them, but that just wasn't on our menu for the day, I guess. That uh, Apparently, they just didn't want to show their faces. They know what would happen. This video was really just a bunch of clips. I mean, more than like full catches just because I was like reserving the GoPro battery for hopefully those bigger fish. But, you know, you don't always find them, but we definitely had a great day out in the water. Definitely great experience. 12 hours or something like that out there. <laughs> God. But shout out to Austin. Shout out to Charlie. Shout out to Nikki for having me. Great time. We will be back out there again. We will find and connect with the fish that are much bigger. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's let this guy go. You ready to go, little sport? Here's your new home. Oh, freedom! Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for the continued support. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment, if you think I should stick to the surf and get off of the boat, put that in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.
Thank you.